how to kiss her on the first date. Today we're going to talk about how to orchestrate and organize the very perfect first kiss. So your first kiss with a girl on the first date is going to be fucking immaculate. If you've ever had a situation where you try to kiss the girl and she turned and gave you the cheek or you just didn't know when the right timing was and you just completely botched it and you never kissed her, you never just went for it and because of that the date kind of like got ruined like all of this misery we're gonna take care of today in today's video okay before we go any further if you find value in this video go grab the link from the description below that'll take you to our community where you will find all the right tools that you need to create an amazing amazing dating life for yourself and start attracting super awesome quality women and with that said here's what we're gonna be talking about today number one what the first kiss means. The first kiss comes with a lot of baggage and it means a lot, especially girls. So we're gonna dive into that so you gain an understanding of what she is thinking. Number two, the mindset around all of this. Okay, number three, the actual execution from the very beginning till the moment of the kiss. And last but not least, we're gonna talk about technique. We're going to make sure that your actual kiss is fucking perfect. Okay, let's go. Number one, meaning. Girls read a lot into the first kiss. And to be fair, to their credit, they're not entirely wrong. <laughs> a good first kiss will set you up for a, like, will make a very good impression with the girl or to the girl. This is because the first kiss for a girl is a proxy to both their relationship and the sex. Now, in self-development, we have a saying that goes, the way you do anything is the way you do everything. What that means is she doesn't know you, bro. She has no idea who you are. You barely had your first date. And... That's all the information she can get. So because of that, she's going to try to extract everything out of the little information that she has. And, and we'll see a lot about this, but if you tend to be a guy who's resourceful, that goes for what he wants, that is sensitive to the emotional condition of others and respectful to it, but if he gets rejected, doesn't get disheartened and tries again later, all of this... You can tell by how the first kiss went and what led up to it. And those are amazing attributes for a boyfriend. So if, you're, if you've done everything right, all the way to the culmination of the first kiss, she already knows so much about you. So these are all signals that, you know, are tiny and like very subtle, but you cannot neglect. That shit is very important. And also, this is the first real soft tissue physical contact that you have with the girl. And that's not speech. That's not eye contact. That is actual physical contact. And the way you kiss is the way you have sex. And not all sex is created equal. Okay. Um, and I'm sure I'm going to make a bunch of videos on sex itself but the way that you kiss her the way that you run the first kiss is gonna i mean i can put it in words it's just not gonna do it justice because it's all about feeling it's all about physical sensation and emotion but again it is the way that you penetrate her with your tongue and when i say penetrate please don't just like dart your tongue in her mouth. We're gonna be talking about this in the technique section as well, but that's not what I mean. What I mean is metaphorically, just penetrate her with your mind using your tongue, okay? The way that you are commanding and dominant using your lips and tongue, okay? This suggests a message, and this is so, so, so important. So, of course, this is like part of the information. This is not the whole package, but this is all the information that she can go off off right now so you better do this you better do this right now this is why the first kiss means a lot 
to girls. I hope this is making sense. Now, the mindset. Okay, I alluded to the mindset in the last slide, but number one, don't wait for a sign. Okay, I want you to be the guy. First of all, there's no perfect timing for the kiss. You make the perfect time. You make it happen. And you need to be the guy that does that from the very beginning. Okay. Um, if you wait for a sign, you might never get it. But if you never get a sign, it is so much better to have gone for it and failed than to not have gone for it in the first place. Okay. So many girls would love to be kissed. They just either don't know how to like broadcast the invitation sign or they just are too shy or reluctant to do it and the guy just never does it. And uh, this is not a way to go about life and this shows and tells a lot about how you conduct yourself as a man. So I want you to be the type of guy that goes for what he wants. Okay. And I was having a conversation with a client of mine literally two days ago. And he was talking to me about what the reason would be to kiss her. And he was on about, look, I need to kiss her because the kissing puts you in the groove for physical escalation and eventually physical escalation is going to lead to sex and sex is what creates the romantic relationship between me and the girl. So I need to kiss her so that I can, you know, put things in a row, put all my ducks in a row and uh, eventually create a relationship with her. Dude, that is the wrong way to go about it. <laughs> that is so wrong. You need to kiss her. The only reason to kiss a girl is because you feel like you want to kiss her. Okay, this is why you should kiss the girl. If you don't feel like you want to kiss her, just don't fucking do it. In fact, it's not even a necessity to end up in bed with her. Like, so many girls have ended up in bed that I never kissed. Okay. That might sound weird, but it's a thing, I promise you. Okay, so finally, let's just mildly contradict what I said in the beginning of the slide. Read the signs. So, I said don't wait for a sign, but that doesn't mean that you should be unaware of the signs. There are so many green lights that girls give you to initiate the kiss, okay, or to at least signal or signify that she's comfortable with you, as in, she agrees with you verbally. You lead conversationally from one topic to the other, and as if hypnotized, the girl follows you from topic to topic. This is a great sign you're leading the conversation, okay? Body contact, that is so important. She's touching you, like you, you guys are leaning against each other, and you're comfortable like that. Like you feel the full weight of her lean on you, and she does too. And that's okay. If you feel like that, well, it's an indicator that you could absolutely fucking kiss. Slowing down, slowing down the conversation and the movements and the words. All of that can be very seductive, okay? Lowering the volume, close proximity. All of this is so seductive and it definitely is a signal that things are moving towards that romantic moment. Okay, and finally, she might be very relaxed. You might, and if you don't know how to make a girl relaxed, how to make a girl comfortable around you, check out my video on rapport, super important video, but she might be very relaxed around you. That might be a good moment to kiss. The moment to kiss is not the last moment of the date. It's not when, when you drop her off, okay? If you got to that point, you might already be too late. So, with that said, the mindset is that you're a guy who goes exactly for what he wants. You're sensitive to other people's emotional condition at the time. And if you get rejected, you just try again later. It's fine. The girl has the power to say no and she can fucking use it, and you should trust that she will. Okay, um, and if she says no, it's fine, it's no big deal. It might have been the wrong moment. You're not a, you know, you're not, you're not a clairvoyant, you're not an oracle, you don't know exactly everything. So, with that said, let's move on to execution. 
Now, the moment where you take the lead and you, you know, you um, make that move, make that grand gesture, that should not be like out of the blue. That should not be like, that should not come out of left field for the girl. She should not feel ambushed that you're trying to kiss her. You taking the lead and making your move for the kiss should be an extension of everything that you've done up until that point. That means the entire framework, the broader framework of the date is that you are the leader, is that you are the one that's taking initiative, the one that has found out where you guys are going to meet, the one that chose the table and the seating arrangement that you guys have, the one that was proactive about ordering, about, you know, greeting the staff, about arranging everything, about moving from one venue to the next. You do all these things, the moment where you're about to kiss her is a natural moment that comes after all of this. Because it's just another moment where you're leading and you're taking initiative and you're just doing what expresses you, okay? You're expressing yourself. So, With that said, there is a mild physical escalation that can lead to the date. And I kind of referenced that a little bit before, but it's stuff like feeling comfortable touching each other. Maybe you can touch her thigh. Maybe you can caress her. Maybe you can play with her hair. Okay, once you guys have been in, in proximity and in, in uh, physical contact, that makes it a lot harder for the kiss to be awkward. The kiss is just a natural consequence of all of that, a natural follow-up to all of that, okay? And the last little moment before the kiss is exactly where you will... Oh, by the way, about escalation, before I forget, the whole key to escalation is to take two steps forward and one step back. So if you feel like you just touched her thigh, but... It was not, she didn't reject you, but at the same time, you didn't feel super comfortable. Maybe it's time to, you know, cool off for a second. Let a couple of moments pass. Show that you're in complete control. Show that, um, you know, you know to stop the escalation before she becomes uncomfortable. So that she develops a little bit of trust in you. To make sure that, you know, whatever this guy does, he's aware of where I'm at. So... You escalate like that, there's very little chance that she gets awkward or she gets um, flustered or she becomes uncomfortable. And we don't, we don't want that. So the next thing you can do is the triangle look. So you can look her and you will also see that if she wants to kiss you, she will give you the exact same look. She will look at one of your eyes, your lips, then the other eye, then back to the lips, then back to an eye, like just go between all these three points repeatedly with her gaze. Okay, that is the triangle look. That is the universal signal. Please kiss me now. I want to kiss you. Okay, now here's the best trick about all of this. Here's the best movie you can pull. Here's the one pull that will guarantee that there is no way to get rejected when you go for the kiss. And on top of that, that move gives you immense control and it suggests and broadcasts that you're a guy who is in charge and in control. What you do when it's the moment to kiss her, and by the way, I wanted to say that earlier, I forgot. There's no reason to do any stupid tricks to kiss her. Okay, if it helps, if you have some kind of like routine, like a client of mine has this magic trick where he holds this girl's hands and you know, um, then they look each other in the eyes and it's kind of a game and he leads the kiss up to the kiss with this method. If it's a crutch and it helps you, use it, but you don't need it, okay? So none of the awkward, like, yawning, just like <laughs> cinema, like the movie theater move where you, like, you know, put your arm around her and, and like, pretending to yawn. Um, just, like, be a man and actually go for it. But use this move that I'm about to tell you, and you will see that you will remain in control, and it's impossible to get rejected. So, what you will do, well, when you feel like you want to kiss her, and when you feel it's the right moment, you just lean in 90% of the way, but not 100% of the way. 
You just lean in, look her in the eye, and hold the tension. Or you can even look her at the lips. But don't go all the way in. Because, number one, if you let her come the last 10% of the way, that's kind of the way things should work. And number two, if she wants to reject you, there's nothing to reject. So there is no face to save after that. You are good. You never tried to kiss her and failed. Okay. So once you do that, you lean in. She leans in the other 10%. And now you guys are kissing. Congratulations. Here's how to execute the perfect kiss. Here's your technique. Number one. This is a physical sensation. This is a physical move. So I want your eyes to be completely closed because once you deprive your brain of all of the information that it gets from the eyes, then it's going to start sucking information from the other senses. So you're going to focus on the kiss. That is really important. So if you put your brain on the kiss, now we're, now we're playing, now we're talking. Number two. I want you to be very slow. That means slow down to 50% of the speed that you think is appropriate. That's how you kiss perfectly. And like I said, don't dart your tongue in her mouth or any, any of that. It's not like, it's not sex. You're not like going in and out. You're just exploring her mouth or her lips and tongue with your lips and tongue. Don't try to explore the rest of the mouth. Don't try to explore the teeth or the, you know, the, the inside of the cheeks. None of that. Just lips and tongue. You can lightly, very lightly bite her on the lip as well. Um, but the key here is to be slow, like I said, and to break away first. To be the one that stops the kiss. This follows a pattern that we've talked about in other videos as well. The pattern, pa pattern of proactiveness, proactivity. That means in the same way that you want to start every interaction at a party, but also end every interaction at the party, you also want to initiate the kiss and also stop the kiss. Be the one that is in complete control because that is what is attractive. That is what girls go crazy for. Okay, so with that said, Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got tons of value out of it. Um, go grab the link to go to the community. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. Subscribe to the channel and like this video. Peace.